It was a really difficult night to swallow. Um, Newcastle deserved to, to win the match comfortably. They were much better than us from the beginning to the last minute. Um, and we had nothing in the game. Can you explain the performance then? They were much better in every department. They were much better in the duels, in the second balls. Every time they kicked the ball up, they could manage to do so. Um, we were poor with the ball. We didn't defend the rest of players set piece in the way we have to do. We had nothing in the game. But why poor in so many areas on such a big night? Why do you think? Well, a lot of things happen as well during the night uh, with the substitution that we have to make through injuries and everything. But it's not an excuse. Newcastle deserves to win the match from the beginning because um, they were much better than us in, in everything that the football match requires to, to be on top of that. Your youth, your energy is usually such an asset. But tonight, rather than youthful, did it look like an inexperienced team? Maybe not quite ready for that next step? That's what we have to think about, but uh, it's true that we could not cope um, tonight with the game that we have to play here. Were you worried immediately in that match? Did it just not look right almost straight away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we tried to change some things and uh, it didn't make it better. And we had some moments where we looked a little bit better and the start of the second half was a tiny bit better and we understood better what we had to do, but uh, then the execution was so poor. The goals that we gave it away were extremely poor and um, nothing they deserve to win the match. Yeah, you said both goals were poor. Does the first goal sum it up really, coming from a, a foul throw? We know that's where it starts. Yeah. What have you said to your, your players in there? What I'm saying here, that um, he's extremely disappointed that Newcastle were ten times better than us and fully deserved the match. And, uh, and the performance is just nowhere near the level that um, we have to play, we want to play in the Champions League. Uh, are you shocked by it? You seem almost stunned by what you've seen. I am incredibly disappointed. I don't know if the war is stunned. Um, obviously, when you see the team that we have at the moment, um, there is a lot of question mark in a lot of position because the injuries and the suspension and everything that we had. But uh, again, it's not an excuse. We, today, we're at the races. Yeah. How many players out there were not 100%? It's not about 100%. I think everybody, when when he jumps on the pitch, uh, cannot use the excuse to do anything else. And uh, it's the players that we have. We have been playing like that in the last few weeks and trying to um, get to get through that. Players want to be on the pitch, which is the merits as well that you have to the credit you have to give to the players. But today, we weren't good enough. Worst performance of the season. I don't know. It's obviously a very painful one. Yeah. When you won at Villa mid-March, six points clear of Spurs, it has been more erratic, the form since then. Why do you think that is? Well, a lot of happened to the squad as well with, with the amount of injuries that, that we picked and uh, the changes that we have to make. But uh, still, it was in our hands. Today is not in our hands. We have to beat Everton and we have to wait for... Uh, for Norris to be the Spurs, and that's uh, that's what we have to wait now. Yeah. Do you still feel like there is a tiny chance? There's always a chance in football, and you have to be there just in case that chance appears. Thanks for your time.